But there's another metal thing. Oh my gosh. What in the world? And another metal thing. Welcome back to the channel. The vlog channel, that is. It feels like it's been a while. But I'm telling you, I'm doing some interesting things. I finished painting the edges around the walls. And I still have to cut in this black part. So in the bedroom here, this is something I was working on this morning. It's actually installing these new blinds. They are wider. I think this is like a two inch wide blind instead of the traditional mini blinds. So it's just nicer, the nice thick ones. And I like that. It was definitely a learning curve and I still need to adjust something because I need a, an anchor. See how that one's hanging slightly lower? It's a little bit loose. So I need, I need to pull it down and then put anchors up. Those drywall anchors, the plastic ones that expand so that it'll go up higher. Uh-oh, Stella, here's something. Oh, I see. It was just the mail person. Stella, it was just the USPS. That's all. It's okay. So the flooring, I, I've i shown it before. I just, I really, am re I'm really liking how everything's turning out. There's lots of little minute stuff to still do, of course. The baseboards, the crown molding, and the other rooms. This is the new rug that's going to go in the bedroom the primary bedroom under the bed kind of but also later today i'll have the new bed coming for that room very similar very similar to what i've got in there it's just a slightly taller headboard but it's the same basic color that kind of nice cream i'm fairly certain that the new one is going to be put in there and then the one that's in there be put into this other room but we'll see once i once i figure it out so this is the guest room also known as the, the room where I sell things for Friday night sales and also known as the recording studio. <laughs> it's becoming uh, just a makeshift room and also I might put in a desk for an office. I don't know. It's, it's actually just way too many things happening. This mattress I got for free and so the bed that's in the primary bedroom will be coming in here. This I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with. That's like the recording thing for when I sing and all of that. And then this corner does need some help, but I haven't really given it enough thought. I did buy a new chair. So, I mean, I've got a chair now. I was using the chair, one of the chairs that was out on the back lanai, and then that was kind of stupid. So now I've got this little guy that can rotate a little bit. Now, I also finished painting the white in this hallway area. So it's good. And then, this room in here is still, it's on hiatus, I guess you could call it. It's in limbo land because all of the shelves will eventually have to be pulled out about a foot or two, stick, to, stick the new baseboards on, push them back correctly, and then fill the shelves up with all of the stuff that's on the back lanai that will be sold eventually as well. I have the five inch baseboards coming tall, and that's about, what, an inch and a half taller than the traditional three and a half ones, I believe. So... Slightly taller is a little bit more premium and I'm happy to do it. So there's that. Now this room, the, the front room has always had the crown molding in it already. So that's kind of nice and it's already done. But the bedrooms have not. So that'll be a new feature to have the, the, the crown molding up in here. That's why it's not cut into the ceiling because it's sort of irrelevant to do that. But I'll have the crown molding up around this room and then the other two rooms as well. I've got the barrister bookcase put back in the corner there, which is very cool. That's the old mini blinds there, the pair of those. I was considering moving all the crystals over here. I think somebody mentioned that in the comments so that it's more central between the windows and everything. I do like that idea. I don't believe this table is strong enough to support it. It's these hairpin legs. One thing I didn't mention is over here on this back wall. Of course, I need a longer table. I, I forget to mention things whenever I'm recording and in the moment with it, but I do plan on getting a table that's maybe twice as wide, almost taking up the whole width of that. And then I think the best idea would be to paint it completely black, the same color as the, the TV. And that might sound a little jarring at first, but it's going to, in my opinion, Mm, make more sense than anything else because it's not going to clash with the wall. It's going to be like one with the wall. And I would suggest that if they, they were built-ins too, 
because that's the whole point of the black. It's to create this like depth in the room, this recess, uh, hides the TV in a way. So that's kind of the idea with that one, but I, it's all about finding the right thing. Now, of course I can build shelves, I'm not in the mood right now for a project. I've got enough other like whatever things going on. So yeah, the kitchen is a state of emergency because, <laughs> because it's just full of stuff. So like I got all these bags that need to be put away, but they're full of things I've recently bought for the reselling business. And normally I'd put them on the shelf, but why am I going to take them out of a bag, put them in a box just to put them from the box to the shelf, just leave them in the bags. It's just that kind of thing. All these will be painted white. Then I'll reevaluate how I feel about the white. The new dishwasher is still on its way and with the stove very soon. I'll have those to complete the look. And then I might start using the dishwasher. Back in this room for a second. So one thing I am thinking about doing is looking up what kind of noise canceling or noise blocking curtains I can put in here. Because I do do the sales here, of course. But then also for singing with the microphone, you need something that's going to block a little bit going in and out. And then of course though, with having the headboard put in and, and getting this all dressed up, that will help. You are adorable and confused. That's all right. You know a tip I found for like paint stuff like that? So that's just the, the, the plastic tray. Let me show you something. So this is the plastic tray that you can buy at the store and there's no liner in it either. There's no liner. So you take this off. I don't know if it's dry enough to, to show you, but you just grab the corner of it and then you can peel it off. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so once it's, it's like 100% dry, it was still a wet under where the roller was and it'll just peel off. That, that completely beats trying to pour paint down your sink and all the water and everything. So yeah, and then just right off the edge and everything. Isn't that nuts? I don't know if that's a selling feature or not. I didn't realize it until I accident, accidentally figured it out. But yeah, I've got two keys, number seven and number four and some junk, some junk mail. Let's check it out, which is great because once again, there is a huge line all the way to the door over there. It's a long, long line. Okay, so let's see, I'll just put this down here. Number seven, number seven, right there. A big old box. got that one and then number four number four is down here another big box I wanted to show a few things that I got in the mail so the setup right here in the front this is this is from groovy vintage so she sent this amazing antique milk glass powder dish that one's really pretty too with like the, the great rose on there. So that's nice. And then these two glass animals. This one's of a duck. And then this one here of this cat. That's a good looking cat. And then also this little satchel or bag of ornaments. Look at that strawberry. That's really neat. And this sort of like carnival looking one right there. So there's that. And then also these sheets, vintage sheets full size sheets. Very neat. So that's really awesome. This other setup right over here is from Patty Rose. She sent the stacking flamingo mugs. Isn't that neat? The stacking flamingo mugs. And then also this little wall plaque here. And it's really quite interesting because I was at an antique mall in Indiana, Bedford, Indiana, when I visited Misty, the thrifter, junker, vintage hunter, you know, Misty. And there was the, the antique mall had this, I believe, hanging in one of the antique booths. And I thought about getting it, but then I don't know for the price or whatever, I decided not to. But look at this. Here it is. It's the little wall plaque here with the flamingos. Oh, and then also the stickers. I thought those were adorable too. So thanks, Patty Rose and Groovy Vintage. Stella.
Do you want to go outside? I've got the crystal on the ground. I can put those back in the bedroom now because the case is still up. Stella, do you think I'm still talking about you? Oh my goodness, Stella. <gasps> Does she want to go outside? Let's go outside, Stella. Take a tinkle. It's tinkle time. I am still... My sinuses are all screwy. Screwy sinuses. Here, let's chain you up. But yeah, so... Oh, there's a view of my plants over there. I've got the, the one I... I think we had a couple cold days and then it's like a little bit brown. I'll show you. I'm trying to get her linked up too. There we go. So it's kind of, you can see there. Yeah, kind of brown. So I might trim those off and then whatever, but I watered it today too. That one and that one, the little bonsai down there. Bonsai is doing real great. This one, meh, it's a little bit more unhappy, but it's probably because of the weather. The ponytail palm is doing pretty well. That's this one. That one's doing just fine. So I don't know. But yeah, I've got sinus problems and I, it might be the cause of my head pressure, head pain. It's something I've never really gotten to the bottom of. And so um, maybe I should look into the chiropractor thing again. I haven't done it in a while, maybe five years. Last time I went to the chiropractor, they prescribed me having a shoe lift on one leg, which in turn makes your hip on the one side go up to account for the functional leg height difference. Kind of worsened things because it put more pressure on the hip that it was pu you know, pushing up. The essential idea is that it's supposed to create a cantilever effect on your spine. Push one side up, makes the other side relax and do all the... But it never really worked in that way because it just like I said put more pressure on the hip so then I took it out after about a year and then my my hip started feeling better and I never really noticed much of a difference in any other fashion really but my upper back between my shoulder blades has always been a troublesome spot and then as well my neck back of my neck and then I can I can actually feel you know where it's tender most likely from sinus drainage or pressure whatever but if a chiropractor could adjust something that is creating a blockage there and in not making it so that it's the, not the most optimal way for my sinuses to drain then that could be really beneficial so come on come on my dear come on it actually feels pretty nice out too not too hot, not too cold. I always thought a fountain could look really cool right there. Look, sit here and reflect. Throw money at it. Throw pennies at it. Stella, what would you like? Would you like to swim in the fountain? I have been, like usual, running around the house the majority of the day, getting things in order as the best I can, trying to find some sort of congruency in my living space. But it's kind of difficult to anybody else that's you know, looking at my life, they might see, oh, well, you're doing a lot. You're doing, you, you've done a lot. You've, you've moved from Illinois to Florida. You've bought a house on your own. You started a new YouTube channel. You're renovating the house that you're now in. You're learning how to do your existing reselling business in a new area and all on their own, each on their own is a very nice thing, very great thing, but it's a lot happening all at once, all together. And so that's something I haven't really fully appreciated or understood because I tend to not understand my limitations and I don't accept them usually. So if I feel tired or my head hurts or something, there's a sense of guilt, there's a sense of ina inadequacy and just essentially not being good enough to do what I need to do. and. It's something I need to I need to get over that because it's really not fair to myself. I mentioned that the, there's an incongruency and that is just whenever you consider coming from a house that's completely done, everything's really just the nice way you can basically, you have a great palette to work from whenever your environment is shaped correctly and you really have everything in a nice orderly fashion for yourself. 
So for me, my physical reality really does have a, a great bearing on my emotional reality and, and how I see things. And so if whenever there's disorder visually in my life and things are not truly to my standards, then that's going to kind of subliminally send messages into my psyche that I am not grounded in a secure place. So that's something that I'm trying to fix, of course, by obviously the, the faster, and that's another thing, the faster I can change everything to get it the way that I need it to be in order to feel the best I can, the better, but that speed is a little bit too much sometimes to keep up with physically. So then you've got this interesting dichotomy. Oh, you've got the cars. You've got the in, this interesting thing where you want things to happen quickly, but you physically can't keep up with it because you can only take so much. I've got lasagna in the microwave. It's like the convection oven thing. So I've been using that more often, which is kind of cool because if I didn't decide that I was going to get a new stove, I wouldn't have been able to force myself to figure out how to use the convection oven feature on the microwave. So I've been using it and it's actually very good because it's a small, you know, it's a microwave size, but it is very efficient in that way. So this is just like a little TV dinner size lasagna thing. Oh my gosh, I matched the wall pretty close to it. Well, I went out to check the mail. My bed arrived, I didn't even know. I'm excited. Now there's the old dishwasher and microwave. Boy, that looks like crap. <laughs> the top, remember how it fell off and mm, memories all alone in the moonlight. I know I'm triggering some of you. You don't like it, the singing. But uh, yeah, they, they, what a what a mess of a microwave. Oh boy. So there is the bed. I don't even know what we've all got here. I don't know what we have. What are these things? It's like panels. Mm, I don't know. You've got all these pieces. These are the slats. Oh, all right. I mean, we're obvi I'm obviously going to have to take this other bed apart and move it out of here. So there's room. Room. Basically, I wanted to open this up and see how difficult it was going to be, but I did not realize why there... I'm surprised there's this many parts. Like, why? I'm not very excited about this. I'll have to be honest with you. I'm just like, uh. <sighs> You've got this metal thing. And then see the problem. Once I take this other one apart and move it, well, then I won't have a bed in here. I'll have a bed in the other room that I could sleep in tonight if I don't get to it, but there's another metal thing. Oh my gosh. What in the world? And another metal thing. This is not a toy. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Not be a very fun one. Look at all these fabrics. I don't... Where's the instruction manual? This is outrageous. What are all these padded things? Is that the headboard in the back? Look at all this. Look at all this. Would you just look at it? Oh my gosh, there's more fabric. All right, so I've got the old bed out of here. There's the new rug. So now I just gotta put the, the bed there. <laughs> I say just got to. I have to assemble the entire bed now. So that's exciting. But yeah, I chose this rug. I wanted something very neutral but still with a pattern on it. And so it does kind of have a similar vibe to the front. You can see here, there's like the diamonds and the like little shapes. And then out here, you've got something kind of similar, but more color. So the idea is that the, the bedroom is just toned, like more toned down. So the bed is similar to the old other one in color in that it has like this kind of cream fabric tones to it so it's going to be very light and then that's all helping because you've got the really intense paint color so it's just going to to be a good contrast i think okay so i got the spare room bed put together 
That's of course the one that was in the main bedroom. Now it's over here. And this one, I mean, it's kind of large, but I mean, it's large for the space, but <sighs> oh, we gotta rearrange this stuff. But it is all good. Oh gosh, that got pushed in there. I'll figure it out later. But um, <laughs> so that's that's that corner. It it's gonna work out fine in here. But uh, yeah, at least there's like a spare bedroom now. So yeah, that one has the taller headboard. It's just it's so nice now with the with the thing. So when I get out of bed, it's not like the hard surface. It's not much softer, but it's just nicer to feel. So yeah. That's, that's how that one looks there. I'm um, not sure about artwork or anything on that wall. I have really not decided yet. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do drapes across this entire wall. I would put them in, uh, across the entire wall, not just over the window, to make a more dramatic effect. So it would be, think about, cur you'd have curtains, panels um, against that wall and that side of the wall. And then it would be floor to ceiling. So that's what I would do if I did it. But yeah. So I got this bed completely put together and the other one. And it took an hour and just under an hour and a half. Well, it is. Why do I look like I'm wearing makeup? Weird. I just had my shower. It is the next morning. And I'm going to wrap up this video here. I'm going to also do my neck exercises. Uh, before I go estate sailing, it's currently 7.30. So, I've got a little bit of time. I only have like 30 minutes, but I've got a little time. I've got my coffee and my breakfast bar. And, yeah. So, I'm going to let the dog out and we'll wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.